She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to it. Today I'm showing you guys how to digitalize your photos, cartoon yourself, draw a picture on your device. I don't really know what to call it or what it's called, but it's becoming a huge trend recently and I've had so many people ask me how I do it, so here I am showing you guys how I do it. This is what we are talking about if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Anyways, just before we start off, I just wanted to say that yes, you will be able to do this on a MacBook, an iPad, or an iPhone, any device, you can try it on. I have found the ways on how to do on all of them and I've self-taught myself them all for you guys. Just one thing before we start, you will have to pay a small price for the um, software or app that is used to be able to do this, so just a forewarning, I will tell you guys the prices of those as we get to it. Also, I know that there are going to be lots of people who watch this video, make a drawing, and then post it, and then have people ask them how they did that. So when that happens, all that I ask from you guys in return is that you just shoot them the link to this video so that it helps me out in return. And also, if this video helps you out in any way, it would be super helpful for me if you guys like this video and subscribe. Seriously. Obviously, it helps me out so much. Thank you guys in advance. But yeah, I think that's all I needed to say beforehand, and I think we're ready to just jump right into this. Once you get to meet her, and let me paint a picture. I see they don't understand. Feeling like Picasso, she brushing it. Okay, so we're going to start off with the hardest one, which I believe, at least for me, is on the MacBook. Um, this one is also the most expensive if you don't already have the Adobe Creative Cloud. You do need to buy the Adobe Creative Cloud or buy just the app. I'm not sure what their packages are, but for me, um, as a college student, my school offered the package of the whole suite for $50 a year, so that's how I have it, but I'm not sure what your circumstances or if you're in college or what. I know everything is different for everyone, so. Look into that if you're interested in doing it on your laptop. <laughs> oh, and yeah, you don't have to have a MacBook to be able to do it. You can do it on anything that supports the Adobe Creative Suite. <laughs> All right, so first you're going to need to pick out a picture that you're going to do. So I'm going to do this picture right here, and I just chose a somewhat simple one so that it's not too hard on the laptop. Also, I literally self-taught myself how to do this like 20 minutes before filming this video, so it might not be the best way. I don't really know if there's a different way to do it. Go ahead and try that out. Um, but this is just the way that I have taught myself how to do it. <laughs> All right, so your first step will be to take your image. I just drag it to my desktop and then I take it and just drag it over onto Adobe Illustrator and then it pops up right there for me. Um, then you can make it however big or small you're wanting it to be. Um, I really don't care. I'm probably not going to do anything with this. Okay, that works for me. So then you're going to come over to the side panel over here and click Layers and you will go down over here, this little plus button where it says create new layer and create another layer. So then that's going to add a new layer right there up at the top. Okay, so now I don't really have a strategic method on what items I do first, but um, we'll just go ahead and try my phone case, I guess. I'm not gonna do all the detailed pattern because I don't want to, but <laughs> basically you just take the pencil and just start drawing around whatever shape, leaving points wherever you want them. So we're going to just outline this whole shape, not really worry about fingers at the moment. So now we have that, we are going to come up to the top over here and click this little eye button real fast. So we turn off this layer for a second, go over to properties, then you're going to click this eyedropper tool. Um, pick whatever color you want. I'm just gonna pick that middle color. So now we have this color right here So once you have that color selected you will click it and just drag it down here So it's kind of in your little color palette. So then go back to layers turn on your layer Go back to your cursor click on this Go to properties and then fill and then you'll click that color that you just picked So obviously that doesn't have all the details of the iPhone So we are going to go back and hide that layer then we're going to create a new layer, and we'll do the camera on the iPhone. Okay, that looks so bad, but we're not gonna worry about it right now, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna hide the phone for now, and go do my fingers. Okay, so another way that you can color this um, is to take the color that you selected with your eyedropper tool, and just drag it over onto what you need to color and it just 
Makes it perfect. Um, that arm took me a while. <laughs> okay, so now we have the problem where my fingers are under the phone case. So we have to come over here to the layers. And you want to find your layer that is the phone case. Here's mine. And you want to drag it to be under the layer where your fingers are. So now we just continue to do this with the rest of the photo. And yeah, we'll time lapse that real quick. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why I'm down, yeah No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah Now I'm thinking I, now I'm thinking I Might have caught the June blues, yeah, I wanna Okay, so now I've gone through and done my whole body So now I'm going to go and put a background I'm just gonna do a simple color you can do the whole background if you want, like do all the objects, but honestly I like to just usually do um, a normal, like just base color because it makes it not as busy, but you guys can really do whatever you want, it's up to you. Usually it takes more work to do um, the whole background, so that's why I'm going to just do a simple color. There we have it. I don't really know how this gray color got there. I was originally gonna do green, but hey, the gray looks good too. So that is how you do it on Adobe Illustrator. So obviously this isn't perfect, um, but you guys get the idea. Practice makes perfect. This is honestly my first time ever doing this. I self-taught myself how to do this just for this video. So practice it a little more and I'm sure you'll be looking great. Now we are going to talk about how to do it on an iPad. If you don't have an iPad, skip to this point in the video because that's where I talk about how to do it on an iPhone. Anyways, let's talk about how to do it on the iPad. You're going to need a couple things. Um, first of all, obviously you're gonna need an iPad. Um, next, you will need to get the app Procreate. Get the normal Procreate, not Procreate Pocket. And it also helps if you have the Apple Pencil. If you don't, it's still fine. You can still do it. It just might be a little tricky for you, but you can still do it. So those are just the things that I used to do on my iPad. All right, so you will go down and click your Procreate app and then you will go up to the top and click photo and just import your photo that you want to do. And then first what you'll want to do is create a new layer. So you do that by going up here to the top and just clicking this plus button and then you're all set. So you can really just choose whatever you want to do first. Um, why not my jeans? So what you will do is you will click and hold to bring up the color finder and just look and try and find a color that you think would look good. And then you'll just go around and outline the shape that you're coloring in with that color. Okay, so once you have it all outlined, what you will do is you will come up to the top right corner and you will take the color, press and hold it, and drag it and drop it into that color. Um, it, oh gosh, that looks so weird because you can't see. Um, so we're going to go and add in some of the details of my pants so that it doesn't look stupid like that just because of the angle that I'm at. <laughs> Another tip is, let's say you didn't connect a line. Um, and you try to drag your color, it's going to do this to you. So make sure that you um, always know that the lines are connected. Oh gosh, okay, that still looks not good. Maybe this was a bad picture to choose for this. Okay, so now we are just gonna make another layer just to be safe and do a different color. Maybe we'll do my skin. Okay, so <laughs> all right, so this is looking so bad, but uh, I usually don't mess with many of the facial features. Occasionally, I'll just put the eyebrows on because it kind of looks weird if you don't have anything there, but it also looks weird with just the eyebrows, so that's what I do. Maybe we should go. I don't want our own okay, so we have my figure done. I'm not gonna go through and do all the buildings in the background. I'm just gonna, again, make it a solid color, so we'll do that real fast. Okay, so there we have it. Um, looks kind of weird because I'm originally sitting on a ledge in the normal picture, but <laughs> you know what, that's okay. So there's the picture. 
there's the drawing. So definitely over time, you will get better at these with practice. Okay, so that last one was like not cute. So I'm gonna time lapse another one for you guys real fast. Also, my camera died, so we're on my phone. <laughs> Like small talk, yeah, we can never get too deep. I don't see what's up with only putting in up. Okay, I'm actually kind of obsessed with how this one turned out. It's still like not that great, but I still like it so much. I think the colors are so cute. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. It's super easy on the iPad. I, doing it on the iPad is my favorite, but obviously, not everybody has an iPad. So let's talk about how to do it on your phone. Okay, so now we're going to talk about how you guys can do it on your phone. This way is the cheapest way to do it, but it is the hardest, uh, at least for me. It's just a little difficult because your screen size is so small and you have to use your finger instead of an Apple Pencil, which is what I'm used to, but it's still manageable. <laughs> okay, so you will need to download an app for this and it is called Procreate Pocket. You do have to pay for it. I believe it's $4.99, so it's not too bad. It's not as much as it is on the iPad, so that's pretty nice. Okay, so you will import the photo that you want to use by clicking the photo button up here. Um, here's the photo that I'm going to be using. And the first thing you will do is come up here and click new layer. So now that you're on that new layer, you're just going to start going to work. I'm going to do my hand first. So you will click and hold to find the color that you want to use. Uh, I think that looks good for my skin. And then this over here is the brush size. I usually keep it pretty small. Um, and you will just outline. And then what you'll do is you'll drag this over here, but don't click on this too long because then it'll go to the previous color. So you just want to really quickly swipe it and drag it over. Okay, so here is the final product. Uh, it's so cute. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be on the phone. So there is what the actual picture looks like and there's the graphic. I think that is so cute and it really wasn't that hard to do it on my phone. So any of you guys can do it and it's super easy and it only costs like five dollars for the app. Just a reminder, if you aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel, especially if this video helped you in any way. Also, remember if anybody asks you how you guys did it, please send them to the link to this video. It would help me out so much. Also, don't forget to go check out my Instagram. If you guys liked the aesthetic of this video, I am always posting aesthetic insta-worthy pictures on my Instagram, so go check that out. If you guys have any questions, leave those in the comments. I will try my best to help you out. And if not, comment which edit was your favorite, the one from my MacBook, the one from my iPad, or the second one from my iPad, or the one on my phone. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you here again on my channel sometime soon.